Hi everyone, we are MimoType Technological by Nature. At MimoType, we are making use of the advances in DNA sequencing technology by essentially turning genetic information into what we call nature's open source code. And while we are not only able to read nature's open source code, we are also able to write nature's open source code. And we do that in a way that we can come up with extremely interesting high performance materials that are inspired by the way that biology works. So essentially MimoType is a technology integrator and we have a focus on a really special kind of um, biological material, namely luminescent material. So what we are really all about is looking into nature, looking how nature produces light and make use of these molecules by putting them into human technology. Um, and another special thing about MimoType is that we can use existing biofabrication techniques to scale the synthesis of these compounds um, from the gram to kilogram range using microorganisms. So essentially we have complex microorganisms grow these interesting industrial chemicals for us and we put them into new electronics applications. But let's start at the very beginning. Right after World War II, the Japanese scientist Osamu Shimomura back in Japan started to work on a really fascinating problem. Um, back then, it was known that the jellyfish Aquarea Victoria has a bluish compound that is um, chemo active um, it's uh, it, it, it shows a phenomenon that is called um, that is called um, chemoluminescence however um, eventually um, when um, when you look at the jellyfish the jellyfish emits a greenish light so there's a color conversion going on from blue to green and Usamu Shimomura wanted to find out why that is and after 30 years of intense work um, he finally cracked the mystery of bioluminescence and he found out that um, a small protein um, now famously called the green fluorescent protein is actually responsible for converting the blue light into green light um, and this is a discovery that has really changed the way that biotechnology and also molecular molecular biology are done today. So we are taking Osamu Shimomura's discovery even one step further by producing green fluorescent protein derived mutants and variants um, in high yields, um, 10 gram, 20 gram, um, we wanna scale up to kilogram amounts. However, uh, right now we are producing in the gram range. So, um, we produce these proteins and we are specifically interested um, in the small peptides that are enclosed within the protein shell. And what we do with these proteins and peptides is that we put them into OLED technology, as you can see here. Um, so our very own flavor of OLED technology is called Biogenic Nanophotonic Arrays. And the amazing thing really about these peptides and proteins is that um, they act um, as electroluminescent emitter materials. So essentially you have a current that runs through um, a very thin nano layer of the protein or peptide material and it starts to emit light from blue to green to red. So um, this is a highly fascinating convergence between the way that humans do electronics and the way that nature produces light. And we want to make use of this principle. Here you can see some of our ongoing prototyping work. On the left, um, the photoluminescence under UV light of our um, target compound. Um, left, a neat film. And on the right, um, it's a blend with a polymer matrix, and you can already see the interesting um, color um, 